So let us use now the beautiful high-tuned group field to bring through into words our subtle impressions and insights. And um, perhaps it's a good idea to start with anyone from the Australian group. I see that uh, Silvana is with us. I don't know who else. Anyone would like to share, please raise your hand and we'll unmute you. Oh, hello all. It's Silvana from the Australian group. Hello, um, Silvana. <laughs> oh, it was um, such a profound um, meditation. It um, just in terms of just having that that overview, which is non-partisan to anything that's going on. But just holding, holding that light as if we are attuned with the masters who are just observing and just holding it from that point and radiating out into not only our nation but into all nations as the plan is unfolding. I had a beautiful vision of that. And really to cultivate in these times of great polarity, the poise of being central and nonpartisan is what is really speaking to me at this point. And thank you to Rob for representing our group so beautifully. Yeah, it seems that uh, we in each other's presence in the high field that we hold together, we can practice this nonpartisan, just holding.
the concept of poise brought into my mind the evolution of the practice of yoga, which in my 30 years as a practitioner has evolved from a place in the United States that has that came from relatively unknown into something that has become very mainstream and has attracted much of the youth of the United States to join. And it's interesting because the word poise reminds me that as one practices the asanas in yoga, we are taught poise. We seek balance. We hold an image of a fulcrum that is given steadiness by the breath. And we are asked to seek a point beyond our bodies that is referenced as the dristi, which is an unfocused focal point that helps us to maintain that balance. And I just find it interesting because I think we are teaching poise through this practice of asanas and the asana practice being actually traditionally a practice that is, is intended to prepare one for meditation. And as we sort of bring this to the youth of our country in ways that they may not be fully consciously aware of, um, we, are, we are teaching voice. Mm -hmm. And we are bringing that into the next generation in a wonderful, beautiful way. Yeah. Yes. It's also, it's a good way to to teach through the body, especially for young people. We teach through that body, but we bring awareness to an aspect of their higher selves that potentially puts them on a path towards connecting with their souls. Right. And grounding this right into the body. These asanas. It seems to work well with youth, kids. And with all of us. I'd like to share impressions from the meditation. And um, in a way, there were two strong impressions. And the, 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 the two and almost like two parallel uh, practices, meditation practices, and one that Rob shared with us by sounding the great invocation with poses, it felt very powerful. And thank you very much for that. And somehow it felt especially meaningful while we're in the, in the full moon, uh, the sign of uh, Ergo, 
and it's with reconnecting with the essence with the meaning behind the words of each line and we talked earlier today about harmlessness and as we know that in the mantra of the new group of old servers we say may i fulfill my part in the one work through self forgetfulness harmlessness and right speech i think the practice of right speech probably will be sharing about that in the coming laps uh, it, it's, i think in a way it's reconnecting with the essence of the words we use because there's so many words written and spoken and making those long pauses between the the words not just in the meditation but in life allows us to practice the right speech mm -hmm. <laughs> yes we need a lot of silence in order to learn how to, to use speech well yes yeah. and the burger is very um, brings us to the essence of meaning behind the words mm -hmm. and the impression that came during the meditation itself was uh, was very resonant visualization that we experienced of this fabric that we weave together Lincoln Pinnacles and I think it's a uh, it's the vision uh, that's been for a long time for humanity and suddenly in this meditation meditation it felt like we start coming into the recognition of this vision and start uh, manifesting this vision of creating the uh, United, United Nations of people and holding those pinnacles within each of our nations we uh, focus in the essence of each of our nations and connecting essences of our nations we indeed create the fabric the new fabric of um, the new civilization mm. yeah In this context, it was also a, a strong experience for me to stand with the group of Australia. Through this standing, through this holding space together, um, seemed to me that a lot of information, a lot of um, input came through. I feel now that I know something about Australia that I haven't been realizing until now. And uh, it was just an experiment today. And uh, it feels it feels promising. It feels like um, it will be very good practice for us to stand with each other's nations in this way and this is again this silent this holding space is holding the silence together how much is being mm, transported in this silence without any words
Doctor, can I add that the procedure of thinking through and talking through the synthetic scan, the, the discussion that the group has undertaken over the last two weeks um, to prepare that scan, has been very interesting in that it is compelled us to distill what we see to be the decisive issues confronting the personality of Australia. There were six of them that we listed today. There is a seventh, which is even more important, which is also there at, right at the end. The six are, are internal, that is self-defense, Afghanistan, those the thing, how we have the situation we face and, and how we are behaving as a nation, as a personality. The seventh is on the soul plane, and that is what is our responsibility as a nation within all nations, within the task of all nations. So it was in a way a simple task, but it was very interesting to see the clarity with which the images, the issues, presented themselves to the group and giving us, of course, a task for an unknown amount of time, an unlimited amount of time, as each of us within our own individual personalities works on addressing the failings and the, and the, the issues that we recognize within our own personal self. We see that our nation faces these issues and that a small esoteric group is seeking to draw out soul impression at a national level um, must think about how can an esoteric group foster the national management and addressing of these issues. Yeah, it's actually the same as Sasha before said about um, about our um, international field. So also here we are kind of laying a blueprint through this fabric that we weave together and this silent space that we hold together in this can be received what the Tibetan calls divine understanding, the third aspect of harmlessness. Which is really the expression of the soul. So there is a question coming from Kim about the image on the screen now. Where did, mm -hmm. this, come? Where did this come? Um, Annette, do you have enough internet to answer this one? Oh. 
probably. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, I can. Um, this picture is um, is made out of a part of a picture of um, Nicolas Röhrig. Um, so at the moment I don't know the name. So perhaps you know it, Uta, or no, no, with I don't the know. tower, a picture from Röhrig where a tower is also on, and we took parts of this picture and created this by ourselves. Yes, thank you. I believe there was originally one tower which is actually representative of a, a large incense burner in Tibet. There was one light and um, that one light sparked the lights in the other towers. Yes, that's it. Thank you, Marco. Mm -hmm. and, um, this is the flowers of Timur, the lights of victory by Nicholas Rorick. Great pinnacle. Yeah, so let us conclude this session. Lots of gratitude to all of us. Let me meet again next month. Alexander, you still have some announcements? Uh, yes. Um, we're still under the energy of the full moon and it's a um, beneficent opportunity for us to come together and put our hearts and minds every day and whenever it's possible, every hour. So we invite you to come um, shortly to join our daily meditative vigil that starts in 35 minutes uh, when we invoke the soul consciousness of humanity. 
and um, also tomorrow is the last day of the five days period of the full moon the last day of distribution and we invite you to join at 6 p.m gmt uh, the full moon meditation for the common good and uh, we will invoke the vision of the plan on the topic of archetypes of the new governance and that would be the topic for our reflection in this month and we will come back together on the new moon of libra on october 8th to share our impressions of this reflection and meditate to empower thought forms related to this topic Thank you. And the, in the chat, you can see the Uta's email and uh, the recording of all the creative labs uh, are available on our YouTube channel. Here is the link to. Yeah, we welcome. Uh, any feedback, any other impressions that you would like to share with us? It's all very precious for us. There's a sharing from Darcy that I just reposted. Um, thank you, Darcy. And there is a question from Jana. Uh, if we need to re register for the next lab, um, you know, once registered, you register for the series of the uh, uh, labs. And uh, now uh, you, you can see the schedule for all the coming meetings of the Creative Lab till July 2022. So once registered, you register for all 12 sessions. Thank you, everyone. And uh, there's some questions that I'm trying to monitor. Um, I, I reposted the link to the YouTube channel and there is uh, another invitation uh, coming from Kim for an event, uh, so I will repost now.
Uh, there is a question if name of participants uh, will be visible on YouTube channel. No, it's on the recording of the screen and the voices. And not on any other public place, uh, the names of participants are visible. Okay, I think we are now ready to close our session today, so over to you. Yes. Yes, so again, thank you to everyone. Many blessings. Let us hold our indigo field together. It's strengthening all of us and the planet. Lots of gratitude for this work that we can do together here. Bye-bye. <laughs>